how long did you stay at the restaurant? I was at Inc. for three years. Three years, okay. Yeah. Did you become sous chef? When I was on Fish Station, yeah. Okay. So I got I got promoted to sous chef three months in. To Ooh, opening. Four okay. Into opening. Mm-hmm. So you're a, so you're a badass then, at that time. It's all right. You can do it. You can toot the horn. That's fine. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. that's fine. That's yeah, fine. That's fine. <laughs> So three months in, you're sous chef, and um, you're working with these cooks, and now you're their boss. How did that dynamic work out? Is it pretty easy for you to assume a leadership position? Um, no, I think it's always hard when you get prom- when anybody gets promoted from within. Yeah, and you you know you're kind of moving up the ranks. It's always hard because. You have prior friendships with a lot of these cooks, and so when when you're now having to tell them what to do, it's always a little difficult because you you're always going to have some sort of pushback from some people. Yeah, and so I, I mean, you kind of have to just gauge the situation with some, with a lot of these people. So yeah, it was. I'm not saying it was the easiest job because you know we we definitely had some some hard moments where. You know, I, I mean, at the end of the day, like, these people are your friends, but you also have to manage them at the same time. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's a really hard line to, to draw. Yeah, it was also like, a huge learning curve. Too. Yeah. Because you, uh, you start learning that you can't hang out with them. No, for sure. And I've, I've, I've definitely got, I definitely had that, had that talk with, with Cole and Michael a few times about that, too. Because obviously, you know, we... We always hung out after service, and I mean, it, it got to a point where it was like, yeah, you, you can't really hang out with them because you have to kind of separate yourself as a manager from them. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Because it's like you try to reprimand them, and then they're like, well. They're like, no. Well, you like, were. We're going to hang out after work anyway, so like, no. Yeah. You know what like, I mean? You're like, you're not going to get mad that. at me right now because, yeah. 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 yeah, that can that can become challenging for sure. Um, what made you want to kind of get away from from Ink? Um, I actually, when I left Ink, it was to do Top Chef. Okay, and it's it's actually kind of funny because it's it's I never really thought about doing that. Yeah. Um, How did it first come up? I know Michael always joked around like, oh, I'm going to sign you up for Top Chef all the time. I'm like, oh, I don't want to do TV. I'm like, that's, no, I don't want to yeah. do TV. And um, actually one day he actually did sign me up to do the show called Knife Fight. Do you remember that show? With Elon? With Elon, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. And Drew Barrymore? Was I, th- it? I think she, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was think, an actress yeah, in there yeah, yeah, somewhere. Sure. Yeah. And um, why did that show get... Off, I don't know. Off it was air. such a fucking awesome show. It was show. an awesome show. Yeah, actually, it really was. I, I still talk to Elon and I'm just like, yo, I'm like, you need to bring the show back. Because yeah. it's it's just it, it, it's it's just fun, you know? Like a, just a bunch of people getting together and cooking fun food. Yeah, and talking you know? just, shit and just drinking shit. and yeah, fucking just, yeah. Yeah, it was awesome. Um but yeah, so Michael had signed me up to do to- or I'm sorry, not Top Chef. Uh he had signed me up to do Knife Fight. Yeah. Um and he was out of town at the time, and he had uh, he had texted me. He was like, "Hey, are you ready?" And I was like, "Ready for what?" And he's like, "You're doing knife fight tomorrow." And I was like, "Do what?" No, I, I was like, "No, I'm not." <laughs> you're like, you're no, I'm like, not I'm like, "You're fucking with me." I'm you're like, crazy. No he was like, "Yeah, you're you're doing knife fight tomorrow." I'm like, "You what?" <laughs> I'm like. First of all, I've never seen the show because I don't have fucking cable. Yeah. Like, you're a struggling cook. Like, you're not watching TV. It's like, chef, I'm working all the time. Like, what is the knife what? fight? I'm like, what is this? So I, I was obviously like, I was, I was familiar with the show, but I had mm-hmm. no idea what the concept was. So I literally started cramming, just like watching the show. I'm like, oh my God, what do I do? Like, I have no idea. And, you know, I, I just... I did the show and whatever I I won. Who'd you go up against? I went up against uh, Brian Husky. Whoa! So he had he had done Top Chef 
prior to my season. So he was on the New Orleans season. Yeah. Yeah. So I was just kind of like and then you, shitting bricks at this yeah. point. I'm just like, oh my God. I'm like, and then I'm you fucking whoop going that up ass. against someone who's who's been on a competition show before. I'm yeah. like, I'm fucking losing for sure. And then you I'm whooped like, his ass. I don't know that I whooped his ass, but... Spanked I, it lightly. I mean, I... I just, I just did what I did. Yeah. I did what I could. Um, yeah, I, I was, it was definitely, it's, it's like I blacked out. Yeah. Like it's, it's all a blur. Now tell me this, cause the show is very, uh, it seems like it's very quick. It's very quick. Yeah. There's no like, stop, let me change the film. Like, yeah, yeah. the camera, like it the seems memory like card, go. Like, it's like, go, go, go. Yeah. There's no like, all right, you're, you're filling out like instructions, like you're, once you're in there, you're going. Yeah. Like, all right, next dish. All right, let's go. Time starts now. Like, I'm like, fuck, yeah. what the fuck am I going to make? <laughs> it's so weird. I, I mean, like, I I think someone had brought it up to me, like, last year during quarantine. Like, oh, my God, you were on t- we were on Night Fight? Oh, my God. And they started watching it and, like, I'm like, dude, don't, I'm like, don't even, please don't watch I'm like, I can't even, I can't even look at that. Like just going back and like watching the food you made. I'm like, oh fuck. Yeah. That's so awesome. Yeah. Um, so you end up winning this and what do you get when you win? Just bragging? A knife. Oh, you get a knife. Okay. (laughs) No, uh, well, a knife, a big cleaver saying I won. Okay. Yeah. All right. And bragging rights. Got you. Yeah. So I'm sure you walk back into the ink kitchen like. Fuck you, motherfucker. I done, <laughs> I done won. It's funny because obviously that didn't air for like, um, for months. You couldn't say shit? Yes. I mean, <laughs> no, like I couldn't. It wasn't like, I don't think it was like that. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, Michael asked like, hey, how'd you do? And I was yeah. Like, yeah. I won. And he was like, oh shit, yeah. Like, let's go. Yeah. But, uh, and then is this when it's like, hey, Top Chef? Well, you know, I think with a lot of these, these shows, um, they have a lot of the same, like every casting director or casting producer knows everybody. Yeah. And so your name gets kind of put into the mix somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Cause once you do something they they want you to do something else and then they want you to do something else. So, um, actually top chef came about, um, from Michael's, uh, PR and she had, uh, told me to, she had told me that she was going to sign me up to do Top Chef, and I'm like, "Please don't do that." I'm like, yeah, no, I don't. I'm not like, I'm not interested. And she in did it anyway. She was like, "Just do it," like, because she was repping the hotel that they were doing the the castings. Uh huh. Okay. And so she was like, "Yeah, yeah, just just go in for an interview. Like, it's not gonna. It's literally not gonna hurt." And yeah. I'm like, "Yo, I'm like, I'm terrified. I'm like, I have to tell Michael that I'm like doing this. I'm like, I don't know how he's gonna react. You know, like, yeah. I don't know if he's gonna." be okay with me doing it and so she was like it's 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 fine like if you don't if you don't get a call back no harm no foul whatever and so went in for the interview they kind of have you talk about yourself and you know what you've done and yeah if you've done competition before blah 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 um i get a call back later that day for you know the next interview and then you know so on and so forth she go through a pretty rigorous um, interview process. And um, I think it wasn't up until like my fifth or sixth interview. I was kind of like, all right, I got to tell Michael. I'm like, I was like, oh shit. I'm like, how am I going to tell him? <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of like during service, I, did, I didn't want to be like, hey, chef, like I, I need to talk to you. Because, you know, you know, that usually fucking what that hate means that. Yeah. is like, it means I'm all right, quitting. fucking quitting. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, like, what are you saying? You're quitting or you're getting harassed in it's, some way. Yeah. Well, usually oh it's, God. it's fuck, you're quitting. Yeah. You know? For so sure. So, he was just like, what is it? And I'm like, <laughs> it's okay. Well, we'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it later. Oh, like, no, you don't. I know. I was no, like, no, I, I totally <laughs> fucked up. And I was like, I shouldn't have said that. Like, why the fuck did I say that? <laughs> um. Anyway, I was just like, oh, yeah, I'm like, kind of, I have something funny to tell you. And he was like, what's funny? And I'm like, oh, I'm like, I applied for Top Chef. And he was like, oh, shit, really? And I'm like, that was totally not the reaction I was, yeah. I, was I thought I was going to get. And 
he was very supportive. He was like, oh, that's great. Like, I'll let me know what you need. I'll help you, you know, get prepared, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it was uh, very intense. I was just, like, very nervous about letting him know because you always want, like, your mentor's blessing. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Because you do, I mean, at the end of the day, you represent that person that you worked for. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to make that person look bad. Yeah, no, never. Yeah, so I was was very like, all right, well, I need you to tell me that you're okay with doing this kind of thing. I think embarrassment is the biggest motivator in the culinary field. Like, to not be embarrassed. For sure. Can't make somebody look bad. Yeah. I can't make myself look bad. I don't want to embarrass myself. Like it comes up. Well, a lot. definitely did. I definitely didn't want to embarrass myself on national television. Oh, for sure. Yeah, that's kind of like I think every contestant on the show doesn't want to be the first one out. No, kind of thing. You definitely know what I mean? not. It's, I mean, but it's different because I mean, yeah, everybody kind of still has that mindset, but I think at the end of the day, like it's. It, competition is not for everybody no it isn't yeah i mean er every chef works differently some people need to think i mean i was i'm never i'm not good with thinking of my feet per se Mm. so like quick fires were never good for me so i never necessarily want i won one quick fire out of the entire season yeah so like quick fires were not for me i was just like oh my god like what the fuck am i gonna make did you did you prepare for the show at all? Did yeah, Mike, I mean, Michael, we, when he told you he was going to help you prepare, like, what was that? I, I mean, he definitely gave me some sound advice. Mm-hmm. Told me, you know, don't... Obviously, you have time constraints. Don't do something so over the like over the top that you're not going to be able to finish. Yeah. You, you know, you have to be realistic about, you know, what you're trying to make and the, and the amount of time that you have to prepare it. And honestly, like, that's probably the best advice that I got mm-hmm. um, is not to do too much because you only have so long to make whatever you're going to make. Yeah. Yeah. Heard that. Uh, there wasn't any times where he, like, gave you ingredients and was like, you have 20 minutes. No, we did a lot of that. Too. Okay, got you. Okay. But I, I had, like, um, my cooks do that for me, like, kind of, like, chop style, like, oh, go gather some shit. Yeah, yeah, and just bring it to me. It. Yeah, and you know, obviously, I, I practice making pasta in in like twenty minutes. And yeah, like, yeah. You know that kind of thing. Just kind of testing myself and and kind of made my brain start thinking a lot faster in terms of memorizing you know, recipes. Memorizing recipes because yeah. you don't. They don't give that's you one an- thing that you don't get is you don't have a recipe book to go by. You have your phones taken away from you and. You have to memorize everything. You have to know how to make things by heart. Yeah. And you're, you said your phone gets taken away from you. Is this like daily? No. Or is this, this is like the whole fucking phone, time? The whole fucking time. Like you don't have your phone. How no. long? We uh, we filmed in Boston for about five weeks. Mm-hmm. And then um, if you went to the finale, you're, you're there for like two weeks. So okay. you basically don't have your phone for like... Eight weeks, yeah, basically. Seven weeks. Got you. And um, so they filmed that in the entirety of that show in two weeks, five weeks mm-hmm. okay. in Boston. Yeah, yeah. Wow. But there's a lot of like post, you know, post production. Yeah, yeah. That they do, you know, way later. Got you. So, well, yeah, but the actual filming of the show takes probably like every day how many hours of the day are you like long hours it's probably like, 16 no yeah for sure yeah 16 hour days got you yeah and i mean i i applause like all the camera guys and sound guys yeah, because they were working longer than you for sure and they have all that equipment on them constantly you know i, I was the camera guys just holding a camera on on their shoulder the entire time like that's that's hard work. It's not, yeah, it's yeah. not easy. It's a hard job. Yeah. Are they like disfigured in some way? Like one no. shoulder's bigger than the other? No, one? I mean, like, <laughs> they just have one. All, I mean, they're all ripped. Yeah, for sure. Like, for they're, sure. They're, yeah. they're, you got it. Yeah. You got to, for sure, you got to work out for that. You're doing that, what, 18 hours? Because if you're working 16, they're working longer. Yeah. I well, remember our, our restaurant wars was like 
my god it was like i think it was like a 20 hour day to be honest yeah we started at like 6 a.m we didn't finish until like midnight yeah wow now how frustrating is this shopping